What's going on everybody? Jungle Vulture here and I want to say we got one more week left and dove season to be here. I'm pumped up. I'm ready to go, man. It's it's the best time. When I think about dove season, the first thing that comes to mind is fall, pumpkins, Halloween, the whole shebang, leaves falling. It's it's that time. It's it's getting that time, sir. So, uh first off, I want to start by saying uh, this is what I use when I go dove hunting. I try to make this uh, quick and simple, short and sweet, either way. So, first off, I use a backpack. Uh, you use a bucket, backpack, don't matter. Uh, to store your stuff in. This is what I put my uh, decoys in, my mojo decoy. I got a voodoo and a couple other uh, decoys but yeah I put uh, my decoys in here I put shotgun shells uh, I put my batteries for my decoys this is pretty much like a this is just my pretty much a decoy bag almost but yeah it's good to have when you have so many All, I mean I got four but you know you really ain't got to have four anyway backpacks a good thing to have uh, the voodoo mojo decoy telling you man uh, there's a lot of uh, decoys out there and I will say this one here is one of the uh, dinosaurs that first started out <laughs> and Man, I'm had this thing for ever, dude. Uh, put it like this: I'm this one here actually came with stickers. This is one of the first ones that Mojo came out with. The box actually has stickers in the inside of it. Uh, the new ones now, because I had to turn around and update. There's nothing wrong with this one, but when I done an update and got some, they actually didn't have stickers, which I was a little disappointed. I don't know why, but anyway, yeah. So decoys one's good enough you do not have to go out and buy a whole bunch one all that you need is one that's all you need to attract birds you don't have to go all out and buy a crap ton but that was over the years of me buying decoys that's i end up having four i bought one to replace that one if it ever went bad but it's still working so there you have it. Decoys, you don't have to go crazy. All right, moving on. Raincoat. If you're anything like me, I don't want to get in a truck when it's raining. Not unless it's raining too hard that a bird won't fly. Uh, ponchos, uh, raincoats. This is frog togs. This is a full body suit, but I only use just a, just the top part. So, other than that, pretty simple. This is what I use for my 12 gauge. This is what I got. You can get it from Walmart. That's where I got this from. It is uh, two and three quarters, 1200 feet per second, uh, eight shot. I mean, it's just to all go around and get. Uh, shotgun shells I mean you don't have to go all out and get steel shot and stuff not unless your state requires it catch you on that one but another thing check on your your uh, your regulations and stuff and see what I saw require for you to start dove hunting if you're new to it um, if you are new to it uh, I guess what I say congratulations but I guess so. I'm, I'm just going to say congratulations on getting started. Uh, if you're looking at what I'm doing, thank you. Anyway, 20 gauge, and then you got... Whoo, boy, I'm messing up here. 12 gauge, and you got 20 gauge. This is Remington. Um, they're smaller than a 12 gauge. Either way it goes, they're 
they're both fun to use um i do not own anything other than those two that's all i use for dove hunting i bring two guns out the 12 and the 20 gauge just in case something were to happen to either one but this is what i have this is my bread and butter here it is not loaded I'm bring that back down for you this is a benelli nova and when it comes to gun choices to go dove hunting whatever gun you got that's a shotgun obviously um whatever shotgun you use put it like that whatever shotgun you use use that shotgun when you see people on on here on youtube talking about yeah top favorite guns to use that's kind of enticing you want to go buy one of those right i mean if that was i mean that was me back then but you had no money to afford that kind of stuff so i i mean whatever shotgun you get just just get used to using it i mean i have an improved cylinder in that 12 gauge and my 20 gauge huh. y'all ain't gonna believe this all right single shot man this is my baby here this is oh, there's a dove there but this is uh this is my bread and butter here too i do have a uh double barrel but it started messing up on me if you look on the uh video that i've done uh last year dove hunting it started messing up on me so i guess i'm gonna retire that one but between that 12 gauge here the benelli nova and this one here it's the new england firearms i mean these conserve more you're shooting one at a time you can't go wrong with it like i said whatever shotgun you got you don't you don't have to just get your improved cylinder if it takes chokes and or whatever's in it just take it outside take it out of range or something shoot it and see what you see what you're looking at man i mean i i never don't go to no ranges but i'm out in the country i can pretty much go down the road and shoot if i wanted to anyway that's the shotguns shows you the shells all right this right here i say and this would be kind of you're entitled to how you feel about it obviously but i pretty much got this for you guys um which I think it'd be pretty cool to see how how I shoot when I'm dove hunting anyway. Uh, this is, in my opinion, more of a want than a need because, I mean, I I shoot pretty decent and I can make it to a limit. But if you want to go back and see how you were shooting, how you missed those shots, this is the way to go. This is a uh, shot cam Gen 4. Uh, I caught this on sale. <laughs> so... This is what you'll see here. You got the camera, got your tools in here. Up here, you got, uh, I actually put my choke tubes in here so I can have a little bit more space. And right here, you got your wipe offs for your uh, lens. Like I said, this, this right here was more of a uh, want and a need. I got it, like I said, for you guys. Um, seats, you need to have, uh, seats out there with you there's buckets out here that's available in walmart uh i actually seen them the other day that was 20 well it was 19 dollars plus tax and then they actually had like a, a regular chair like this which it won't be like this it'd be a camouflage but they got those that's uh I don't know if the price was right, but it said 12 bucks. I'd be better off getting one of these because it's got the little lean back on it. You know, you can lean back and take a breather. Um, so yeah, this, have your seat. Make sure you take a cooler with you. You need to take some water or whatever you're drinking. 
I mean, why are you drinking like Gatorades and stuff? Don't, I'm not even gonna touch that. But anyway, uh, yeah, make sure you have something to keep you uh, hydrated, bring you some food. Um, this is just me. I will not take, I will not leave to go, for, go to lunch, to go to a gas station or something when I'm out in the field hunting. If you got your good spot and the doves is coming in, but you finally get hungry and stuff, that's that time when that cooler comes in or whatever snacks you have, sit there and eat. And when you get through eating, jump back to it. There's people that'll turn around and leave, leave a good spot and public lands or on private land, people will move right into that spot and not even think twice about it. You'll be coming back and like, dang man, you'll probably end up going to a bad spot. Ask me how I know. You know, but yeah, it's uh, dove hunting, man. It's nothing. It's nothing to be uh, overthinking. Those are just some things that you can kind of solder it out if you're looking at it. What I got, some of them's wants and some of them's needs. Um. And I want to thank everybody that checked this video out. If you have it, please like and subscribe. Um, and the next time I see y'all, it will probably be September 2nd. We'll be dove hunting. So thank you guys. Um, like I said, please like and subscribe. Oh, and uh, another thing clothes um camouflage clothes is the best way to go but if you don't have no money at that point i usually use like a uh like a t not a tan i guess you could say a tan color and blue jeans i'm i went out there with blue jeans to kill doves uh you don't have to get fancy for these for these birds because they don't sometimes they don't discriminate on stuff as long as you as long as you behind some brush or some corn or something like that it's pretty much what you're seeing so all right guys